in there. So I was looking through my fridge to see what I was going to cook, and I realised a lot of leftovers. Mushrooms, a couple of sausages, a bit of uh, tomatoes, and a couple of potatoes, which are here in the cell by day. So I decided how am I going to use these um, instead of throwing them out. So we're going to make the sausage casserole. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to put a couple of two tablespoons olive oil. I will get let that get hot before we have the next few units. We've got oil nice and hot here. And the onions which is chopped. And also the bottom of the fridge I found some celery. It's just a couple of stalks of celery. And we stick that in there. And start to soften these up a little bit. So we have the onions and the celery to soften up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sausages. I'm just going to put them in a hole. What I want to do is try and firm them up a little bit, put a little bit of colour on them, and then we'll take them back out and uh, chop them up a little bit. Okay, so we're starting to get a bit of colour on the sausages. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the sausage in the pan. Just a little bit of colour on the ribs. Now we're going to mushrooms, which we've chopped. A little bit of garlic. Sausage chopped up, yeah. We're gonna just carrots diced. Simmering. The store you cook this in there, um, I'm just turning it all the way down to a little bit. 
，我们电脑上面，我的我的操，这个位置，我的视频，上面 just for five minutes， not even five minutes， what I'm going to do from here on in is I'm just add a little taste and just use a little bit of salt, just for seasoning, because any salt you have in there, it's going to be soaked down by the potatoes. So, add a little bit of salt. I'm going to put the lid back on. The only thing you have to look at now is every, every five, ten minutes or so, come back, have a lot of work, just make sure you have your level um, of water or stock. Is it a good level of stock or not? So this is the trip away here for about 10 minutes.